Hey guys, good morning or afternoon or evening to you guys. This is M.I. Schloss and I am going to be showing you a really great app that I just stumbled upon when I needed to go ahead and put something on my Instagram that was a photo that was not in the square format. So it is just taken by your regular um, camera app in your iPhone and you want to, you know, honor those um, original pixels and coordinates and you don't want it to be a square format, but you do want it on your Instagram. There's a really great app that I'm going to show you right now. It's called Photo Russ and it's right here on my screen if you can see it. It's the third one down on the third row and I'm going to go ahead and click that now for you. And what you want to do is go to the home page. Sorry guys, I was playing with it. Uh, click on collage. And you are going to choose your photo first. So I'm just going to pick one here of my dog. And you only want to choose one photo, as you can see, because you're going to be putting it into a quote-unquote collage format. It's actually going to trick out the app. Tap on Next. And then on the lower hand where it says Styles, click on Grid. And you're going to hit Styles. And on the bottom row where you see the vertical icon, not the square ones, but the vertical up and down ones, you're going to click on the first one to the left. And I find that to be the best for Instagram positioning. And you're going to go ahead and click on Effects, which is the next one over. And I like to move the radius all the way down to the left and that eliminates any of the rounding of the corners. It's totally up to you if you want to round the corners or not. Of course all the way up is presenting like that. All the way down is presenting like that. You can also have the width. You can zoom in and out as far as a bit of cropping for the width. I just like to leave it the way it is. And then click on background. And this is the fun part you have solid colors and you have uh, background patterns as well. I usually go with the solid colors on Instagram just to keep it simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first row there and you can see how the colors change as your thumb goes over them. I'm doing that slowly for you guys to see. And I'm gonna choose a, uh, a green background because we were out in a park. This is my dog, so we're going to just go with that. And then I'm going to hit next. And as you see, this is where this is this app just excels. It's got all types of special effects that you can add now to this picture before you uh, put it onto Instagram. You can obviously put filters on it. There's a couple of filters. There's a film filter, summer filter. Actually that looks kinda nice. And if you go ahead and move the slider down, the further down you move it, the less of the filter will be applied to this picture. If you move it up, the more it will. So I will just leave it about there. I want a little vignetting but I don't want to blow out his fur completely so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to tap the top uh, check mark there to apply that and then I think I will add some text to it as well and you can change the font. There's a number of fonts. These are all available to download for free if there's an icon with a download button, kind of a down arrow next to it, that means I have not downloaded it yet, but you can certainly just tap on it and download it. Let's just try one just so you see how that goes. 
I'll click on Pottery Barn. See the download comes up. It tells you the font size available. And it does suggest that you only download it through Wi-Fi just so it's a quicker download. I'm sure you can do it uh, if you're out and about as well. It might take a bit longer. Tap the download button. And there it goes. That's available. I'm going to go ahead and use this now. And I'm going to tap the um, keyboard and put in... on a walk. How's that? And then you can go ahead and move it anywhere you want. By doing the pinch and zoom you can uh, make it bigger, you can rotate it. I'm just gonna do that, place it down there. There's additional filters you can apply and presets as far as outlines and the way you want it to look as far as color and background. I'm not going to do anything fancy right now. I'm just going to go back here and uh, leave that alone. There's also bubbles that you can do for speaking. Uh, you can make your dog speak. You can put little bubbles anywhere you want and write in there. Text is available on any of these bubbles. Again, just to show you, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to tap back on the uh, text and then I'm going to go ahead and apply that with the check mark on the top again. And another really good thing, there's stickers. I'll just show you guys a couple of things. There's a bunch of decorations you can put. You can go crazy with this app. Uh, this is really one of the best apps that I've seen. It's all-inclusive. They have a lot of stickers and emo emoticons on it, however you pronounce that. I don't even know. There, there's a lot of cute BFF and other things. Um, if you're a foodie, you can click on a lot of I likes. Of course, love. Uh, I have not downloaded any of the um, local materials, so I won't take the time to do that right now. I'm just going to go back to this. And, oops. Hit that just to apply it. There's fun text. There's mosaics. Uh, you can, of course, adjust the lighting, uh, saturation any way you want. Uh, there's a light pen. This is very, very cool, guys. You can go through all of these bokeh effects and basically apply any of these. There's flares, there's bokeh. Let's click one of these and I'll just trace it lightly so you see. Kind of puts bokeh around it. And you can click the erase if you want to erase any of these back out if it's too much around his head I guess I don't want it so I can just apply a little I can go ahead and layer a number of these let's put some hearts around because put some hearts and we'll hit the check mark again to apply that and one of the other features that I found, I've never found this in an app, guys. It's called Stretcher. And you can basically, I guess you could just thinify people. Um, you can stretch them vertically or horizontally if you start. And then you use the slider. I mean, how cool is that? You can stretch him out. Looks like a dachshund now. And put him back the way he was. You could reset that. And I'm going to go back and do horizontal. See what that does. I'll start that. And yeah, that's definitely you can use to, I guess, thinify uh, people or objects. Let's get a different perspective on it. I'm going to reset that. And it usually resets on normal is about a little less than halfway on that slider, if you see it. Before you start any of these, 
that's where your your normal is so if you got to get back to your original area without thinifying or making people or objects bigger or smaller that's around where that is so I'm gonna go ahead and go back I'll just reset make sure I go back with the arrow and I'm gonna hit X to exit out of that I'm not gonna apply it there's borders there's tilt shift um, you can tap on any of these I won't take up your time the other the last one I really like is tag and you can tap on the photo to place a tag let me tap on here and you can do a location or you can tag a person or a thing so I'm going to tag and I've already put in his name biscuit and this is really cool there's different tags that you can apply to it one of them is pets if you see that fourth one over there with the paw I'm going to click on that and I'm gonna get a doggy a doggy one so that I can go ahead and show people the name of my doggy biscuit and then I'm gonna apply that one and let's see there's the tilt shift well since I'm here I'll click on the vertical tilt shift and you can you use your uh, thumbs to go in and out of the th tilt shift you can slide it up to how little or how much you want the focusing to go I'm gonna hit apply check mark again I think I'm gonna go back to tag and I'm gonna hit a place and I'm just gonna say green way because that's the park tap on add green way and there you go and you can make that as a location I tapped I'm here and it gave me that really great banner to show the green way and it's actually focusing on there so I'm gonna tap that one and delete that second one out and you can go ahead and everything is customizable on this this is an amazing app I'm gonna hit apply again and then I think we are ready to share out so I'm gonna tap on save and it will automatically save to your camera roll but then as you see you can share it to Facebook Instagram Twitter you know any other camera apps your messenger anything like that obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna bypass that just to save you guys time because you know how to do that you'll basically have to uh, go on Instagram tap on that and then sign in I believe when the first time you're allowing the app to communicate with your Instagram but other than that it's uh, it's great it's easy peasy and I'm telling you this is the best app that I have found all around for customizing your photographs on any of these social media that require a square format but that you have taken a regular four by three uh, formatted photograph thanks guys for listening to me please give me a thumbs up if you like this and please subscribe I'm trying to put as many uh, application tutorials on there as I can think of but yeah please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me and share it around the more the merrier as I find new things around I will surely put them up on Facebook and on YouTube and anywhere else and share them around so this is M.I. Schloss and have a great day and I'll catch you guys later bye